If you guys missed it, we have access to the gauntlet now. We fed Mr. Mutz and he rushed the hell out of the gauntlet at very low level stats. He's currently super low level stats, so he's not going to do corrupted just yet because it's too dangerous. So normal it is, but it's fine because the drops are amazing. We're making so much money, mainly money, and you get some arrows and gems too, which is awesome. But yeah, we are going to be super fed Mr. Low Shark Mutz, I present to you guys. Money is super important because now we can fund our kingdoms whenever we unlock that and we can also train our constructions pretty easily. Also pay for runes for uh, combat training coming up as well so we're over a mil plus GP right now. I forgot to mention in the last episode that we somehow are rank 3 in terms of high scores for skilling for the trio hardcore. 50 KC! Which means we now are on the high scores for Gauntlet. My first high score, Casey, I think. Like, in general. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else on the high scores. So in today's episode, I'm going to be focusing a lot on improving my combat stats through Slayer, so that way I can funnel some better equipment for my teammates. Particularly from Slayer mobs themselves, like the Black Mass, and also some random things like hard clue scroll items like black d hide and things like that. I kind of call myself the armorer role because I'm the one that's kind of rushing general PVM so I can provide to my teammates. So in today's episode, it will be heavy, heavy on Slayer towards ultimately 65 for now because dust levels will be an insane experience upgrade for me for Slayer. And eventually we do want to reach all the way to Kraken. But yeah, we're building up a lot towards higher level bossing and I'll be the one to provide most of the gen equipment to my team. I have not done Twisted Banshees too much to appreciate it, but on this account, this is perfect because with the salve that I just got last episode, these guys are butter. And the drops are amazing. Lots of herbs and lots of good alkables. Ooh, Mystic Gloves? Cool. God, I can't wait for this. There it is, 58 Slayer. But interrupted by combat, but it's okay. You already know what this is all about. Let's go. 58 Slayer. We are gonna do the Black Mask grind tomorrow. Alright, I think it's time to unlock superiors. I have enough reward points to also skip a emergency task. So I think it's a good time to do it now. Today's a new day, and we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some black mask, and uh, I have all the wrecks for it. So, rum deal and cabin fever. Ooh, damn, forgot this quest was so good on the experience. Okay, next. Cabin fever. Wait, I don't have 50 smithing? Okay, I think I got all the iron ore I need. Just for 9 levels, it took about, according to the math, 1600 iron ore, so it only cost about, about like, what, 70k, 80k, so. Alright, all the bars are made. Just doing that was uh, 20k XP. Nice, 50 smithing. Okay, now we can get back to cabin fever. Finally, we're done. Nice, some levels here. This spot is kind of glitchy because look, nothing's happening to me. He can literally cannot hit me right now. That's so freaking weird. Ooh, 70 attack. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm going to just go back to training um, defense actually because I have some barrels gear waiting for me. Oh, casket, let's go! After 10 hard clues that I couldn't do, or, or was it 9? Oh, Black G high for the boys, please, come on. <gasps> oh, this is so good! Oh my god, Armadale Bracers, best in slot. Oh, Rune, Rune Helm H5, that is a clue scroll item. Emo clue scroll item, so good, holy shit. You should probably leave that in the storage, honestly, for like whenever... Yeah, I'll just put it in the share so that way you can use it whenever. Oh my god, we got it! Yo, yo, I just got it. I just got it. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, that's what I'm talking nice, about. Nice, but I need Fucking to get another finally. one. Though. I need to get another one for you, though. Uh, Hell holy yeah. 
shit. Let's go. Dude, finally. Oh, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. 16, Deserved. 1,600 kills, man. Oh, my days. Yes, this is the 2,000th kill, and I still don't have a second black mass. So, that is pretty bad. That is pretty bad, but uh, resources are good. So, we won't give up just yet. Quickly, come on. Let me teleport. What is this? Ah, yes, I can do this. Sweet. Oh, casket again. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Less. Yes, yes, yes. Two four step caskets back to back. Oh, oh Black DI body. Yo, that's so good. Oh, nice. 200k out from all that random Slayer Kuzco's. It's cool. Back up to 300k. Alright, so I have one black mask right now, and I'm just gonna give it away to Mr. Fuse because he has to train his Slayer, so it would speed up a lot of his time if he can just use a black mask early on. Ooh, oh my goodness, Mutz with the arrows from um, the gauntlets. Already seeing results and uh, the benefits. Sweet. Alright, got the Soul Bearer, just so we can make the Cave Horror grind a little bit easier. So I don't have to like drop stuff, you know, I can like fit in more things before I bank. Oh my god, this is my 10th Longbone grinding cave heart so far. If there's one thing I'm really lucky at here, it's the Longbones. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> no, dude, I mean, yeah, look at this. I just started the trip. Do you see this shit? Longbone, Longbone. Oh my god, dude. Watch Rice for the chance of a bathtub stream. Oh, yes! We got it! Let's go! Let's freaking go, dude! Let's go! 2,728. Oh, my God. That took so long. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Okay, finally. We can train our construction real quick and our um, prayer. Use up all the insole heads and all the long bones, man. Let's Let's do this. I killed a ton of cave hearts for those two black masks. So let's go over the loot real quick. Two black masks, of course. 1,000 nature runes, which is super good for all the slayer tasks. Drops I'll be outking. Clue scroll stuff I'll be outking. I got 80 insole heads, which is worth like... I believe it's about 60k per XP or something. Really good. Uh, I got 77 toll flags. Muzz will love me for that because of um, future brew training with those potions. Uh, I also got 12 freaking longbows. That's way more than I should have ever gotten. Like, way, way more. I think all the luck went there. And uh, 62 errors. A bunch of really good seeds, like Snapdragons as well. And yeah, that is uh, the main things to look out for. Lots of good loot. Yay, I already have 30 construction, so it was Destiny. Alright, here we go, here we go. 30 construction. <laughs> What's 50 construction? Yo, thank you, Black Mask Ryan. Goddamn. Holy shit. I got 50 construction. I just gained 20 construction levels. Holy crap. <laughs> That's actually insane. All right. Okay, next is prayer, guys. Let me see. Nice. 58. 23k. Shit, I'm not going to get there with what I have left. 70 defense. 1300 total, man. That's really clean i am going to go back to strength training but but yeah with the uh, black mass life is good oh 59 slayer sweet our uh, next major goal for slayer is definitely 65 slayer because at 65 slayer i'm going to get dust devils which means the slayer xp is going to start coming in real fast 60 slayer oh i can do oh god ever inspectors man that kind of booty but whatever oh, i got a looting bag <laughs> what the hell ah another trip to the wilderness bro so ass oh look at that jesus christ that was scary dude wow we actually had a peak hair dude oh are you serious all that for all that risk for nothing bro jesus Alrighty, oh, here we go. <gasps> oh, yo, this is so good. MSP for the boys, MSP for the boys. Perfect, dude. I knew I knew Fuse needed to train range, so 
This is perfect, man. We're gonna give this man an MSB. Uh. So I want to imbue my black mask so that way I can get the damage and accuracy perk for range and magic training, especially magic training because I want to get to 70 through Slayer AFK. And I normally imbue it through Nightmare Zone, but Nightmare Zone is kind of boring. I've done that before and it's also not safe. So we're gonna try Soul Wars because you can imbue it through Soul Wars. And of course, I'm gonna try the most efficient method, which is to use a clan chat to organize games where no matter if you win or lose, you'll still gain some good points. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. The clan chat is called Seal Gains. All right, how many points did I get? 36. It's 500 points. It's gonna be a while. Doing Soul Wars this time around is completely the opposite of how I used to do Soul Wars back in the day where everybody was kind of like headless chickens and I would just DC if I go into the middle because it was too goddamn laggy. But yeah, it's still a little nostalgic, just way more efficient. <laughs> Yo, Soul Wars boosting is so funny. We just take turns going in and out. Oh my god. 48 points. Da, 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 imbue. Let's go. Finally, nice. Now I can kill some black demons. So to expand on the Slayer plan, now that the black mass is imbued, I can easily train range of magic fairly effectively for any Slayer task, like things like black demon. Lots of defense, but of course, black mass accuracy helps so much. But yeah, we're gonna be getting. Some mage level up pretty soon as well. I got my chaos gauntlets and the black mask, so the um, fire bolting will be pretty good on uh, mobs now. But yeah, we're gonna get to 70 magic as we get closer to 65 slayer, so I can use ice burst on dust devils for slayer training. All right, it's time to buy myself some magic armor because yeah, we need to get ready for that 70 magic. For the ancients i already have like the boots and the gloves and the half from slayer so yeah just the top and bottom uh and yeah we're just going to be using fire bolts for some pretty cheap effective mage training and it should work out really really well from past experience i might end up profiting i should be able to profit um just from doing slayer tasks so i won't have to worry about money and stuff all right, I also bought 20 something thousand air runes just because I have 8,000 chaos from doing some barrels. So, yeah, my, I might as well. So, that's gonna cost us a bit of money 300k for everything that I just bought today for shopping, but it's all good. I still have a lot of money left in some alks. So, I'm gonna change up a bit on how I do Slayer. Most of my accounts that I made were before the Konar's existence. So, Konar's pretty good for low level Slayer. You get the keys, and right now where I train doesn't really matter since I'm not utilizing ancient magics. For those of you that are wondering, this is about 40k magic XP an hour. Pretty good for the affordability and how AFK it is. Casket? Yes. Casket. Legendary. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. Just enough space to open this bad boy. Oh! Oh yes, yes. Spare black dehyde chaps. Oh my boy's gonna like this. Oh bam, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, that's damn, really that's good. good. That's so good. Yo, actual dude. This is huge because um they didn't nerf the uh the god dehyde. They didn't nerf that, and we also got a banos item too. Ooh, banos protection. Yep. With god wars too. Oh. Man, that means mutts can get my extra D high too. So I just got my first worm task, and these guys are absolutely amazing because number one is the worm bones. They give like 50 EXP each base. So they're really good for prayer training. I'm banking them right now. The bank is close by, luckily, so it's amazing. I also got a giant dagger for myself and some red D high chaps, which are clue score items, and also my teammates can use it to train their way to black D hide. So yeah, lovely task. Looking forward to more. Another dragon sun amulet. Uh, yes, actually, let's go, dude. I kept, I keep calling it, man. Every time I call it, I actually get it. Let's go. 
So because Muds has access to Elf City now, he can actually catch Crystal Implings. And these things are so good for a bunch of resources like Baby Dragon Bones, um, Dark Tips, and most importantly, some Glories. We're not even in need of Dragon Implings for Glories. We can just catch Crystal. So yeah, he got us a few of those. I think he got all three in one day. And I have the magic level to enchant it. So here I am enchanting it. And yeah, dishing out the enchanted glories to everybody. After two days of doing a lot of lot of Slayer, I've managed to almost get 70 magic. And look at this, 65 Slayer, which is Dust Devil. So that's going to give me an amazing excuse to start doing DT so I can unlock Ancients for the Ice Burst. So it's time to go ahead and do that. There it is, 53 thieving. Okay. Now I have all the stuff required for Desert Treasure. Yay. Okay, we can finally do that unlocked Desert Treasure. I mean, unlock the Ancient Spellbook. And two more magic levels to go for the rest. Oh, so nice. Everything's coming along. So, so nice. Can I do this? Yes! The bat. <laughs> Thank God for the bats, man. Confused vampire, I know, right? Oh my god, this is so OP. Alright. Jeez. Three tries, man. Three freaking tries. Oh, you serious? A scarab would spawn. Are, are you serious? Oh, okay, we're good. Yoo, baby. Ancient unlocked. I still feel like these keys are still quite useful at this level, so I'll probably do corner every 10 tasks for a while until I feel super stacked on resources. Alright, so 12 brimstone keys ended up being really good. Holy shit, 700k? Wow, dude, this is money. This is a lot of GP. We're gonna be uh, using some GP for the kingdom very soon. I'm gonna be starting that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get myself this easy Kebbles current diary. And the reason is very simple. I have this woodland teleport here. Which is gonna, once a day, teleport me to the woodlands. Alright, so it sends me to a place near the uh, memorial so I can charge this. There you go, 32 charges. This is really important because when I'm on Ancient Magics, this will be like the fastest way for me to get to the catacombs for Dust Devils because it sends me right here. It's just a short walk to the catacombs, so. All right, we just finished our last task before we search for Dust Devils. I got 5k magic speed up till 70 magic for the Ice Burst. Come on. There it is for sure, no matter what happens. 70 magic. You can now cast... Well, why doesn't it say the spell? All right, well, we'll just go on Ancients. Yep, there it is. Ice Burst. Sweet. Oh, easiest. Easiest 50th task ever, bro. Zygomites, dude. That is beyond free. Give me those points. All right, this is the number 50th task, and it's at Konar, too, so. It's going to be so freaking good. Here we go. What's the task? Point. 270. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Feels good. That's a lot of points for skips and uh, pretty soon some unlocks. Hell yeah. Oh. Quack. That shit. Mm -mm. Gotta practice what I preach there, bro. What was that lag? So for the past day and a half, I've been trying to get dust level tasks since unlocking ancients and sending magic, but no luck, can't not get it. And I can't really afford to skip points and I'm trying to put out this video. So instead, we're going to show you some bursting with another task that is not often known, but I will cover it right now. So that way you guys can see the fruits of my labor from all this slayer. Oh, I got blood veils lit. I want to try something that uh, I saw Coldland doing for some uh, magic experience bursting training with blood veils. Weird stuff, but you'll see you'll see in a second here Ooh! before i do any more slayer we're gonna mine some gems particularly topaz because i need the slaughter bracelets for the burst task slaughter bracelets is an absolute game changer so you definitely want to have that because it increases the task 
while warm by about 33 percent overall so things like dust devils you're gonna want to make that last as long as possible so you definitely want slaughters we have the glory amulet charge now so we can get the gem rocks a lot faster so this will be a decent way for me to reach the pyramid is travel to Temporos and then quickly run up to the pyramid right here until I get the camulet pretty much. Let me briefly talk about ice bursting for Slayer going forward. So there's a few tasks that I can ice burst relatively easily for some insane next level Slayer XP per hour. For example, Bloodvilles are actually a quite viable bursting uh, mob. The only trick though is that you do need an extra account so that you can uh, dance around the mobs so that they stack together. But other than that, that's really all it is. So you can look this up on YouTube, it's pretty easy to find. But yeah, this method here is 40k an hour, for example. Obviously, Dust Devils is even better because you can just do it all by yourself with one account, no problem. Uh, coming up will be Necrows as well. Ankus is also an option. Of course, Abyssal Demons too. Uh, smoke devils there's just a lot you can do with this spell you can also do ice barrage but it's like three times more expensive so for uh, general training though at least on an iron man ice burst is really really amazing so yeah i'll be getting like significantly more slayer xp per hour going forward and i also have the total water from fuse which helps a lot saves a bit of money all right we're about to kill it oh nice 71 hit points Hell yeah. Uh, Alright, we didn't get anything, but that was dope. And 71 magic. Jeez, the gains are coming in real good. Wait, what? I got another superior? Where? <laughs> Dude, it delayed. The, the spawn was delayed. What the hell? It took so long for it to spawn. Okay. What was that? That was really weird. Damn, the superior kind of just changed the XP per hour, though. It's like, it was 40k before... The superior XP came out of nowhere, but like, damn, it really makes such an impact. One superior just increased it by like 10,000 an hour. Yeah, the issue is, is that uh, this is my first time doing this, so it's probably more if you're like, you know, used to it. Alright, I just finished uh, the, the Dust Devil. Dust Devil, I wish. Finished the Bloodville task, and yeah, it's so good. What the hell? This is actually so freaking good. Yep, definitely looking forward to this. It's, uh, it's insane XP per hour, dude. We're gonna bust through these Slayer levels fast so we can get some more Blood Vills and Dust Devils and all that. Oh, 60 fishing. I'm getting close to be able to cook enough food, probably to 70 for the recipe for Disaster Wreck for Monkey Madness. So I am at the Hosidius Kitchen. And I have all this raw food that I got from AFK Fishing recently, and I think I'm going to give it a go. Just cook these up. Obviously, go from low first, so that way we can increase our odds of not burning fish. But I want to get to 70 for Monkey Madness eventually. And yeah, with the cooking gauntlets and the Hosea's Kitchen cooking level boost, I should be able to uh, maximize my XP. Let's see what I can get. All right, did 200k cooking XP, and uh, I want to get some more levels, so. Oh, uh, this is a big one, guys. This is a much needed level here. 65 for the mid-tier and grow his spory without boosting. Hell yeah. That's going to make the farm runs going forward so much more convenient. Less hassle. Feels good, man. Oh yeah, we're going to slow down on farming a bit. I'm just going to probably do three herb runs a day. Just to make sure I take advantage of the uh, Arty Cloak 2 and the Ring 2. Yeah, 32 rune crafting. Hell yeah. Easy ranks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, there we go. I got the trick working. <laughs> oh, I'm going to relocate to Hosidius. Just because I think it's time. Honestly, I don't really use Remington anymore. That was really good for early levels, but no longer is that necessary. Well, see, it's just better for uh, farm runs and just overall clue scrolls and convenience. Holy shit. This clue has already made me go to Hosidius twice in a row. So, yeah. 
I probably should have unlocked the house teleport to Hill City earlier. I didn't realize it was only 20 construction. I thought it was like 40 or something, you know? Oh my days. Oh my god. I don't think I can get any luckier than this, especially because I can't plant everything yet. Oh my god, dude. I was about to say, dude. Did that happen again? <laughs> Holy. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, I must have misclicked. Holy hell, this is crazy. Five contracts in a row. Yahoo! Alright, we gotta be careful. I'm bringing more camera bonds next time. Ooh, 67 farming now. Hell yeah. Alright, so 69 farming means that I can boost Calquats. Really nice to get a head start on the farming. Especially because uh, Mutz has a bunch of Calquats left over, so I can use them up in advance. And uh, Poison Ivy is really easy to uh, harvest, you know, nearby bush using uh, Chronicle or already cloaked. Alright, so I'm going to give Mutz about half my seeds, which is plenty. This is quite a lot if you look at this here. So he'll be doing a lot of farm runs going forward, no problem. No! No way I just took a 50th task from Turiel. No way I just did that to me. There is no way. Dude, what? I just planted that and it's grown. What? 